And now I'd like to welcome up our first speaker. Obama once made fun of his beard. And that is one of the least interesting things about him. Please welcome up the Internet's own Harper Reed. Thank you. I'm so excited about this, but I'm realizing I have no idea how long 15 seconds is. Okay, so I recently made my office talk. It's been a lot of fun, and mostly it's just about talking shit. It's really terrible and really annoying. Um, so I'm a startup founder and entrepreneur. I've spent a lot of time on startups. I'm sure a lot of you have as well. And I ended a startup. I sold it, and we quit, and I quit my job. And I was just sitting there in my house, and it sucked. And all my friends were like, yo, just get an office. Just get an office and hang out at this office. It'll be really fun. This is basically the office. We just filled it with, a, it's actually missing the giant stereo that's right there. We filled it with a stereo, a bunch of art, all sorts of crap, and we just fuck around. It's the best. I recommend it to anyone. If anyone's in Chicago, come visit my office. It's incredible. But like any office, I added a bunch of sensors and all sorts of triggers and stuff. And this is like 2018. So like, you know, we would go to the office every day. We'd hang out. And then we just want to know what's going on. So this is like my buddy Ivan coming into the office. And this is just in our Slack because that was when Slack was relevant. Um, it turns out that I'm a big LLM fan. Um, I'm sure how many here are a lot of LLM fans. Okay, good, good. They're pretty fun. And I have this really fun trick that I like to do with LLMs that I've been doing since, since kind of the Gen AI stuff really started, um, which is I like to take JSON from an API, pass it to an LLM, and just generate lots of random shit. So I do this for everything in my house. I have a weather station on my roof. I pass the JSON from the weather station into an LLM, and it just gives me a daily weather update. You can add a tone. You can, like, it, like, like a Gen Z message thread. But I do this with sensors in my office. And, and I found this really great. And so this is an example of the weather station. Um, you can just be like, yeah, it's snowing. And it will just output this kind of thing of like, yeah, bundle up. I live in Chicago. You got to bundle up. You know, like, let's do this thing. And the cool thing about LLMs is they're pretty flexible. So you can throw in like, yeah, here's just a random thing. I didn't tell it in the prompt, like, hey, make sure you cover air quality. And it's just like, wear a mask. Don't worry about it. And it's pretty chill. It's like this fun thing where you can just jam shit in there. You don't have to worry about what you're jamming in. And the output is pretty consistent. My favorite part is though when you fuck it up and there's an error. And so then it has the error with the prompt. So it's just like, yo, you know, like it's just, every time I get this, I'm like, are you fucking with me? And it's like, yes, I am fucking with you. But it's just a 401 error. This is the prompt. I'm going to read this. No, I'm just kidding. Um, like any prompts, it's very iterative. And so what I've done is I've just taken this prompt, try it, take it the prompt, try it, take it the prompt, try it. And what I, what I really did is I just took all of these sensors and really just take the JSON from the sensors that outputs and just passes it into this, this mega prompt. And the sensors are anything from door sensors, environmental sensors, presence sensors. I use millimeter wave for presence and then occupation sensors to see who actually is in the space. And I add lots more sensors every time. And I just use Home Assistant as kind of the brain to collect it all together. And I just have a very simple Home, home Assistant automation just passes it into this kind of collector. And the collector is really simple. All it does is take a message and turns this into a group of messages that I then just pass to the LLM. So this is kind of what you can see. It just takes one message and turns it into a group. It's pretty simple. I try and be smart about how, when you pass it to the LLM. So using some sort of, is it the number of messages, the frequency of messages, the velocity of messages that pass it there. Otherwise, it's really annoying. It's already annoying, but it can get really annoying when every message is there. But this is kind of how it works. So you get that and then it outputs, you know, congratulations. The front door is now closed. Um, and then I have a little bit of a personality there, and it's, it's pretty funny. Like, at first, you're like, this is hilarious. And then the next time, you're like, it is less funny. Um, but here's, and then I post it into the Discord, um, and it's fun. And so this is happening. So, like, right now, today, I was here at Betaworks, not at my office, and I get to see they were doing some little, some little work. I get to see it, like, just basically talk shit about them working in the office. Um, this was where I really upgraded it. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with Lava, but I took a multimodal model and passed security camera footage into the model and had it coerce it into JSON, and then just passed that as another signal. So just like the temperature, the CO2 monitor, whatever it is, it now has vision. And the thing is, it talks a lot of shit. I did not mean it to do this, but it'll just be like, <laughs> you know, look at Mr. Productivity over there. Or just, I'm just like, come on. Or it looks like our male model in business casual traded standing for sitting. Like, I'm just like, what are you doing? And it's, and then it will like combine it all together. And some mysterious middle-aged man with a penchant for black hat and serious expressions escaped the office. Oh. And the front door is now as secure as my sense of job satisfaction. So this is actually what happens. And so right now in the office, you sit there and it uses the GLaDOS voice and it just talks shit about what's going on in the office. And it's incredibly annoying. 
We actually have to use millimeter wave to stop it when you sit in certain areas because it's so interrupting. It's disruptive, it's terrible, but it's really funny. It's all open source, you can use it. You can just go to that URL or check out my blog and it's right there. Uh, it's been really fun to build and uh, I'm really happy to tell you all about it and hopefully you can make your office annoying too. Thank you. <laughs>